Here with manager Lee Anderson. Lee, we talked about our injury problems before today's game. How do you think we fared considering our issues? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to try and make excuses about injury because for me that's part and parcel of football. But obviously, when you have to work to a budget and you, you get a settled side, and, and then you get hit with obviously, we've lost Tommy Smith um, with a groin injury. We've lost Liam Brooks with an ankle injury. Uh, Pierre Joseph Dewar with a groin injury. Connor Vincent unavailable, Curtis Ujar to another groin injury 15 minutes into the game. Um, three young lads on the bench who come for her 18 to up and open and put them on the bench and give them game time because they're good players. But, you know, no excuses for the performance or, or the result or anything like that. It is part and parcel of the football. If someone's to say we get the injuries now and you might not have them at the back end of the season, I'll take that. You know, it is football and we have to get on with it. We have to rest up well and, and go again Monday. Uh, do you think a point was a fair result today? I thought we were outstanding, to be honest with you. I felt we deserved probably three points. Um, I thought we controlled the game or the majority of the game. Um, I think it's the best we've played all season. And it's a funny old game. We've switched off for one lapse of concentration. Listen, having said that, I felt when they brought Lee Hughes on with the last 10, 15 minutes to go, I thought they really had a good goal at us there. And then, you know, we've gone up the other end and Brett's had a glorious chance. He's hit the post. He's fallen to ball in. He's probably got on top of it too quick, hit his shin and gone off the pitch for a goal kick. And there's fine lines. You know, we had a bit of luck against Rushton where I felt we didn't deserve to win the game. Tonight, I felt we deserved it. And we'd come out of a point. If someone offered me a point before the game, I'd have definitely taken it. Uh, you mentioned Curtis coming off, and this meant that Josh moved into centre half. Uh, a, do you think this impacted the game? And B, how do you think the back four played since the change? Yeah, I thought the back four were excellent today. Um, Josh can do that job. He done it at Villa Rick. He can play left back, centre half, or right back, and even centre midfield. Um, you know, we've got Jack Bradshaw's come with us today, who has obviously dislocated his shoulder after the second or ten minutes into the second pre-season game. So he's only had 45 minutes all pre-season. Um, and I have to say I felt he was excellent Jack Bradshaw today really good coming right back done a real good job Josh goes in at centre half David Longking is a centre midfielder has played centre half he was outstanding as I say we are short we're massively short but you know people come and do that that's one of the reasons why we brought in some players with the flexibility of where they can play um, and, they, and they've done a great job for us today as I just said David Longking went centre half this is his secondary position uh, do you think he had to show leadership characteristics to help organise the back line? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's one of them. He's got a good pace, David, um, but he's a big, strong boy. Um, and him and Josh, for me, led, led from the back, and I thought they were excellent. Uh, both commanding. You know, when Lee Hughes come on, he's an experienced boy. He tries to give him a little push and a shove, and, and they've got to get used to that. But they won their headers, they won their tackles, they look comfortable, um, and I was really pleased. So, you know, real happy with that. Uh, we did concede the first goal. Do you think this was just... Some organisation due to, to personality. Yeah, possibly. And obviously, with Kurt, it's not in the side and, and his voice. I just felt that um, long throws come in. We've not reacted to the first ball. We haven't reacted to the second ball. The lads managed to get a touch on and then have a shot, um, and it's and it's gone in the back of the net. And that's just us being reactive um, to, to the to the throw on. It hasn't happened. We spoke about it at half time, but I felt we controlled the first half for long periods. You know, they're, listen, they're a good side as well. They're going to beat a lot of teams at this place. So as I say, coming out of a point today, I'm delighted. Uh, we obviously did have a lot of absence, absence, absences. Um, it's easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> what is the? Uh, can you just give us the latest on the return dates? Yeah, so Brooksy, I think, could be out for possibly another three to four weeks. Um, we'll try and see where he is next week, and then he goes away. Connor Vincent should be back on Monday. Uh, Tommy Smith, hopefully Monday. Curtis Ujar looks now he's going to have to rest up for a good seven days to see where he is next Saturday. Um, and who else we got? There's a few. Solomon, as I say, I've not even mentioned Solomon today. I thought it was outstanding in midfield, come back from a bad ankle injury. Um, he's got to trap himself up and get right. Kieran Forbes is carrying a fire strain. So we're a little bit walking wounded at the moment, but they'll look after themselves this weekend and then go again uh, on Monday for a local derby. Uh, just watching the latest training sessions, we seem to have great morale over the recent weeks. How far has our team come since the first pre-season game? Yeah, I mean, if you look, obviously just keeping two players from last year. So we're still learning, we're still trying. But the one thing I'm, I'm very much on, a good changing room. I know the gaffer last year, he's always had good changing rooms as well. Brett's always been in good changing rooms. So it's important that we have fun at the club. You know, who wants to come to football and be bored and, and not have a laugh and a joke? It's got to be fun. And then when we go to work, we have to be serious. But I think it's really important. I think you can see that with the boys. They're looking after each other. They're working extremely hard. And the one thing today, I can't criticise the thing, I thought they were outstanding today, I really did. And, and we need to carry that on to Monday now. It's going to be hard, 
a turnaround within 48 hours or less than that now. It's going to be a hard um, turnaround, but we'll give it a good go on Monday, which I know will be a big crowd and a, one of Berkey's sides are always good, so it'll be a, a tough game. Obviously, uh, we've got uh, Hitchin on Monday. We have a lot of ex-players playing yeah. in our squad at the moment. How, what are you expecting from Monday's game? Well, I've always admired Berkey's teams, to be fair. I think he's got great squads. Um, he always gets a good team morale, and, and that's what I've tried to base my team on this year. Um, with a lot of energy and, and obviously Macca, Brett, Vinny, Brooksy have all played for Hitchin in the past so you know, we have to take the personal side out of it. For us it's another game, hopefully we can go and try and pick up some points there. I know it's going to be a real tough game, I know there's going to be four, or 500 people there. Um, we have to go, we have to be rigid, strong and work as hard as what Hitchin will work because Berkey gets his team working extremely hard and then we'll see what comes of it. We'll take it from there. Brilliant. Thank no you. problem, thank you.